In this video, we're going to go over how you handle and how you pass instrumentation. We have our stringer set up. We're going to start with our forcep and Adson. Yay, little Adson. The tech holds it at the tip and the surgeon's gonna have their hand out in fashion where I could place it right in their hand where they can use it, okay? So the surgeon has pinchers on it, so their hand's gonna be like this, ready for it when I put it in their hand. Hand it to them, just like that, okay? Pinch, pinch, way to go. We have our longer DeBakey forcep. Same thing, tips. You hold them where they're pinched closed and you place it right in their hand where they would hold it. You don't wanna put it in their hand down here because now they have to adjust to where they will grab it. So you always wanna put it right where they're gonna use it. Perfect. Knife handle without the actual blade on it because we're practicing without sharps. You would hold it, blade down, fingers right on the tip, and you would pass it the same fashion. You're gonna put it right in their hand so they can use it. You don't hold it like this and pass it this way because guess what, you're gonna stab them. Blood everywhere. Blade down, two fingers, little angle right in their fingers and they're gonna use it, okay? Retractor, double-ended retractor. You gotta kinda guess which end they're gonna need. If they're a little deeper in, they're probably gonna use the longer end. If they're not so much, then the shorter end. When you hand it, you're going to hand it in a fashion to which they're gonna use it. Everything needs to be handed ready for use. So now, he has it in his hand, he can retract the skin. Got it? Good. Scissors. Scissors come with a screw. Screw up is how you would hand it. Screw up is how you would use to cut as well. Screw is facing up and you cut. Ring finger, thumb, cut. Never bury your tips. When you're passing the instrument, surgeon's hand's gonna be out and you're going to place it right in the palm of their hand for use. Do not try and get it in their fingers because sometimes they'll have their fingers out. You don't wanna do that. You wanna put it in their palm in a nice firm motion firm motion. You want to be able to hear it so they can feel it. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to be looking at you. So you have to put it in their hand. Okay? Curved scissor. See? Slight curve. Curve, curve. Where's my light coming from? There you go. Again, screw is up. When you hand it, you're handing it so the curve is going to face up once they start using it. So I'm handing it right now, curve facing the surgeon in their hand, and when they cut, they're gonna cut and use it, okay? Clamps. When they come in your stringer, they are not ratcheted. When you pass them, they need to be shut. You don't want to hand something that's going to fling open and get all intertwined. Always close your instrument. And again, firm in the hand. Okay. Next. Needle holder. We don't have a suture attached just yet, but you're going to have your suture, lock it, and you always want to pass it so it's ready for use. So if you have a right-handed surgeon, your suture is going to be facing up this way when you pass it. 
so that way they can scoop right in and start suturing what they need to suture great job if they're left-handed my suture is going to be coming out this way and i'm going to pass it into their left hand so that way they can suture in perfect All right, I think that just about does it. 